Okay, we're live. You should be able to find us on there, Dakota. No, not yet. Well, it well I'm in your videos, so yes. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Here, can I put it right there? Wherever. All right. Yeah, that way I can see the comments. Hello. We're just getting started. I'll turn the volume down on that computer, Dakota, so I don't have to listen to myself. <laughs> okay, today I'm making... Hi, Samantha. Today I'm making what I call a, a Jackie journal. Um, so if you watched my... Um, Feature Fridays when I did um, Jackie from um, Crafty Pantaloons. I did a journal from her channel, and so now I call them Jackie Journals. So that's what I'm doing today. So, hey guys, how is everybody today? I shouldn't say guys, I should say girls. Ladies. Hey, there's Lisa. Hey, Lisa. What are you working on today? Hello from Ohio. Hello from Texas. Cool. Yesterday we had people from all over the world. Where do we get those file folders? Do we make them? Um, no, they're really super easy to find here in the United States. Every store has them. Um, Walmarts and um, all the office stores have them. They're, they're really readily available here. Social distancing from Ohio. You're funny, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, we're social distance crafting. That's all right. At least we're together, right? Lisa's finishing a design team journal. Thrift stores, yeah, you can get them at thrift stores too. Um, actually, the other day I went and checked our mail. We, our mail comes um, to this little, it's like a little post office. It's got everybody's um, mailboxes inside of it. And, um, it, but it doesn't have a, you know, a person working in it. We just go in there and check our boxes. But anyway, somebody had a great big stack of purple file folders in there. And, um, yeah, I don't know if I'll use them a lot, but I figured I could, you know, junk them up and grunge them up and hide that they're bright, brilliant purple. Um, but they were free. So hello, Linda, how are you? Hi, Suzanne. Cheryl said she'd be bored without all of us. Yeah, I'm already bored. It's no, you're right, Lisa. It's not the same as our crafty weekend. I could just cry. That's all right. We'll hang out together like this. All your junk mail is going to the recycle. Oh, okay, because you're probably afraid it's going to have yuck stuff on it. Yeah, my mom... My mom and dad winter in Florida, and I get their mail um, when they're down there. And then I just, like, take pictures of, of her bills for her, and then she pays them over the phone. Not because they tried forwarding their mail before, and it was just such a big headache. So I check all their mail, and my mom said, when you get our mail out of the mailbox, you just throw it straight away in the trash can at the mail house because don't even bring that stuff home. <laughs> okay, Mom. <laughs> I will. Linda is not working today, but has been a lot. Well, be careful. Hubby just got word today that he's not to go back until at least April 7th now. So, and you are Leah's knitting because I'm brand new to this. Oh, okay, cool. Oh, hey, how are you? Hey, guys. Knitting. I've never tried knitting. I tried crocheting one time. Um, I got maybe halfway through an afghan. <laughs> I don't Maybe it's the repetition thing for me when you're crocheting. It's like, you know, you get to the end of the row and guess what? You get to go back and do it all over again and then do it all over again. And I don't know. I, I think it's my attention span for crocheting. That repetition Kim from Kentucky's on here. Okay, cool. 
Oh, you're an essential worker, Linda. Okay, so I take it you're probably in the nursing field or something like that. Ugh, I would not want to be in that field right now. That would just scare me to death. Oh, and so we just got word, like maybe a half an hour ago, that we now have a confirmed case in our county. And that's kind of scary because our county, hey, Joe Beth, how are you? Our county is really, really small and very, very rural. I don't even know what the population is in our county. Um, but the largest town in this whole county has maybe two stoplights in it. So for us to already have a case in our county is kind of scary. Debbie says, first time seeing you live. Well, I'm glad you could catch us, Debbie. I don't know what we're going to do on here, but we're just, we're just going to hang out because we don't have anything better to do with our day. You have four confirmed cases in the hospital you work in. Oh, my goodness. Ugh. That's just scary. Too scary for me. Oh. Carmen's barking. Carmen's not feeling good. One of, one of the golden girls is sick. She's been sick since Saturday. Called our vet's office. They were not much help at all. So I called a different vet's office, and they are going to get her in tomorrow at 11. So you have a couple low case, local cases, too, Joe Best says. Oh. Yeah, you have less than 4,000 in China. That sounds like ours. It's super, super rural county here. I mean, there's not even a Walmart in this county. So your husband worked in 18, worked in assisted living. They have 18 residents are tested positive. Oh, goodness. Gosh. Cor Carmen wants popcorn. Um Probably, normally she would, but I bet you she, you couldn't even get her to eat popcorn now. She's um, her throat's sore, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on. It's red and inflamed, and one of her tonsils is swollen on the one side, and she hasn't wanted to eat or drink. And oh, I just I just worry about her. Luckily, the vet said they would see her at. Uh, um, no stoplight closest Walmart 30. Yep, that's the same with us, Debbie. The exact same 35 miles to the nearest crappy Walmart. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, the vet, vet thankfully is going to see her tomorrow. So, but we're doing the the social distancing thing even at the vet. The, the vet said, um, I'm in that age group that isn't going to make it if I get it. So I said, don't worry. We won't, we won't cough, sneeze, or breathe on you. We won't get close to you. <laughs> Your hubby got a letter to allow him through roadblocks or checkpoints. I feel like we're in the twilight zone. I know. It is weird. It is weird. It really is. I remember when we had, like, the bird flu scare, the avian flu scare, whatever they called it, and the... the SARS and all that, and it was nothing like this. Not, not like this. Essential is the new word, exactly. What do we deem as essential? I would say Fabertac is essential, and I'm running low. <laughs> not that I could get it now, I don't think. Pretty sure everything's shut down here, so. Essential businesses only are allowed to stay open, so everything's closed. I don't think Hobby Lobbies are considered essential. So I'm just tearing up my papers here to make that journal like Jackie made on her channel. I do. I order online a lot. Yeah. Um, or I order online and then hubby picks it up at Joanne's or Michael's for me because he works in the city, which is about an hour and 10 minutes away from us. New Zealand is now a state of civil emergency. Essential services, yep, yep. Oh, wow, yeah. Yeah, that's kind of how it is here. Mom and dad are in Florida, and she called me today and said that their Winn-Dixie, which is a grocery store, a little, little tiny grocery store, they're now opening up 
in the mornings for just an hour to let in the senior citizens and those at high risk um, to go get their grocery. I guess they, they clean their store at nighttime. And uh, is it dark? Is the lighting dark on there? Because it looks kind of dark to me. Um, they clean their store at nighttime and then they open up first thing in the morning and let the high risk and elderly people shop so they can get their things before the other people come in. And mom said that, I think it was this morning, this young girl showed up, like a 20 year old girl showed up on a bicycle and she wanted to be let in the store. And they said, no, you, you're not allowed in, only senior citizens and those with documented um, health reasons are allowed in right now. This is their time to shop. And I guess she got so belligerent that they had to call the police on her and they had to take her away in handcuffs because she was that adamant that she was going to get in that store. I'm like, wow, just crazy. Our Win dixie in the city does that. Yeah, stopped in the day to get mom's water. Exactly. I'm just, I don't understand. It, and it was open an hour early. It was earlier than would have been her normal time to even begin in the store. Why would you throw a fit like that? Sharon says, oh gosh, I have two nieces who are positive. One in New Jersey, but at home and one in Indiana fighting for life. Oh my goodness. Where is she at, Sharon? Because I'm here in Indiana too. Oh goodness. I know it's been really bad in Indianapolis area and it's been really bad up north. I got three three more pages to tear up. Then we get then we'll get going. Making this look awesome. Yeah, that's scary. Even Hobby Lobby was wiping down buggies and counting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I went through the drive through at the bank. This was two weeks ago, I think, even before things got bad here. And they were um, wiping down that little tube thingy that runs in and in, in back into the bank and then back out to us. She would you would send it on and then she would get it out and then she would um, wipe it down and give you the new one. Like they were just switching them out every time, which I was glad to see that that was two weeks ago. So. Stores are doing the same here. I hear jerks are now... Oh, goodness, Diana. That's awful. That's just awful. Uh, yeah, it's it's going to come to a state of where the National Guard or something's going to have to start enforcing law and order if people keep acting like idiots like this. I feel like a caged lion. I know. I know, any other time we would just want to stay home, wouldn't we? <sighs> yeah, I feel like a prisoner. Okay, one more sheet to tear up, then we'll put this in our file folder thingy. Oh, there, yep, Suzanne's on there, hey. Stephanie's on here. How many pages did I tear up? I did, um... I think 15. I don't know. I'll count them here in just a second. The last one I did, I did 14, and I thought I could sneak one or two more in. So I think I've got 15 or 16 here. And I, at first, when I saw Jackie doing this, I thought, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. I love that tattered look once you get it all together. People are posing as Homeland Security and robbing people. Oh, my. Well, they better not do that in this area. Three, there's four, five, six. What else do I have here? I have seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I've got a little doily. We'll count that as 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, I have 16 pages then, so. 16 is what we're doing. Um, Sharon, the paper kit is um, My Porch Prince, Stephanie at My Porch Prince, and it is her grandma's attic, I think is what it's called, um, page kit. So it's our journal kit, I guess I should call it. It's a really cute kit. And then this is going to be for my cover 
And I, this is from her, um, I think it's just called Layered Journal Cover. I think it's what it's called. So, but yeah, I, I just love her, her prints there. They're really cute. Oh, also today I saw on Instagram that Victoria Design um, on Etsy, they are having a sale. Uh, do you know how much longer it runs, Dakota? Stuff. It was, oh, it was gonna be over in yeah okay so about another day or so they're having a sale over there on victoria designs but she has this one um paper bundle over there called the antique paper bundle and it has um 400 digital papers in it and it comes in a i'm just getting these lined up the way i want them and it comes in a one gigabyte file with like six zipped files in it. Anyway, it's 400 sheets of all kinds of digital papers. A lot of them are ledgers and um, it's, how do I spell it? Um, it's like like Victoria, like Queen Victoria, but it's yeah, with I'll an E. Dakota will type it in chat there for you. And it's all one word when you type it on Etsy. I guess you should tell them that it's not going to come up as these. Yeah, it'll come up as Dakota it'll just typing be there. In. Yes, Victoria Designs is one of my favorites, too. And Stephanie at My Porch Prints. Yeah, both of them. Love their kits. There we go. It's not always me. It's my, it's my YouTube. That's okay. Okay, put these in here how I want them. Normally, I would you would ink all these up before you would bind them in your cover, but... I'm not going to sit and do that on camera right now. I think I'll do that tonight while I'm sitting in front of the television. <laughs> and I'll just ink them already bound. That's okay. I don't want it to look perfect anyway. That's kind of the point. Bring out the worst in us. They sure do. They sure do. It is saddening. I think my parents are scared to death. And they should be. They should be there. They're older and, well, they shouldn't be. Actually, I shouldn't say that. They should just stay calm. Fear doesn't do anything for you. Yep, that's how we are here, Colleen. That's that's how we are now, too. Okay, I think that'll work just like that. And then we're going to use this file folder for our cover. Oh, that's Carmen coughing, if you can hear her. That's why she's going to have to go to the vet tomorrow. Poor thing. Okay. Hold that. I've only made one of these, so I'm trying to remember how to, <laughs> how to do it because I didn't rewatch her tutorial before I got on here. Just figured we'd wing it. We'd wing it. That's the way I roll. Right? No, I don't talk that way. I'm just being a dork right now. Yeah, My Porch Prince, Grandma's Attic. Yep, that's the one. And then this cover one right here is from her layered layered journal cover. It is a great hobby to keep us indoors, except for today is sunshiny and really nice outside, so I should have been outside, but I, I don't know. I didn't feel like it. Didn't want to. Actually, I thought it was supposed to get nice this week because... My husband mentioned that it was supposed to get um, warm, and so I assumed that it meant we were going to have nice weather, and then it um, it's supposed to just rain now that it's warm going to warm up, so apparently it's going to be warm but rainy for the week, so I guess I should have went outside and enjoyed the weather. Oh well, spring's coming, then there'll be plenty of warm weather. That was a little tougher to rip than I thought it would be. Yeah, lousy weather, weather there. We're back in the depths of winter. Oh, yuck. It's not quite that bad here. A little chilly, but I think we're finally done with the snow and the freezing. Might be easier if I rip that one sheet at a time. Mm 
you're so to go to the parks and hike trails. Yeah, um, I don't know if we're allowed to do that stuff here. You have to drive to get there, and they've got the police are out enforcing the stay-at-home rule, so they're stopping people to ask them why they're out. So I don't know if they would be okay with us doing that because they said essential travel only. Yeah, preparing your garden garden beds. I'm kind of afraid to do that. Indiana always seems to get that one last late snow or freeze in late March and kind of afraid it will freeze again if I go out and uncover all mine. You just had your paper pads delivered. Uh, are you going to do a craft haul video, Lisa? Show us which ones you got. <laughs> Why don't you say that out loud, Missy? <laughs> Dakota said, don't be jealous, Mom. You don't need any more paper pads. Uh, teens wouldn't stop playing basketball in group. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I would imagine on most of our parks are closed, too, for that same reason. People just don't get it. As long as you honor the six-foot rule and fewer than ten, you can... Oh, okay. Take walks and bike rides. Yeah. Okay. I just need to tear the top of it, and then we can bind it soon. You'll buy them. I don't know if I'm going to list these on Etsy. I'm just, uh, I'm just playing. I know. We always need paper. <laughs> Lisa's laughing at you, Dakota, at what you said. What do I say? I'm a naturally funny person. <laughs> Can you guys hear her when she talks? I think you're going to need to check on your dad, Dakota. I think he's choking in there. Blasphemy, you can never have too many paper pads. I know, right? Lisa had to buy new shelves just to hold all of her uh, paper pads. <laughs> okay. I think maybe just a little bit more. No more than two people. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'll tell her to speak up. She told me she wasn't even going to say anything. She's just sitting over there doing a puzzle. And then she's, but she's funny and says these funny things because she knows she can get away with it. <laughs> oh, hey, Carrie. You did. You made it. Glad you made it. I'm not doing anything exciting. I'm ripping paper. But there we go. Ooh, hubby's choking to death in there. He's fine. Nothing haunts us like the things we didn't buy. I like that. <laughs> okay, this one I am going to ink up because I'm going to make it look pretty and I want the ink on there first. So, But I'm just doing it really messy, messy, messy because it's supposed to be really grungy. Dee Dee's on here. Hey, Dee Dee. What are you working on today, Dee Dee? I'm making a Jackie journal. That's what I'm calling them now. <laughs> oh, you're working on face masks. Okay. Are you... um? Do you have plans for them? Like, are you going to sell them in your Etsy shop or are you donating them to somewhere, Dee Dee? Because I saw a lot of people are making face masks, but I didn't know if they were making them for themselves or to sell or donate or what. Buyer's regret? Yeah. I don't know if I have that on craft supplies. <laughs> Now, I've had a few pairs of blue jeans and tennis shoes that I've had buyer's regret on. Oh. Yep, you were asked to make a bunch for local doctor's offices. That's awesome. That is, that is, that's really awesome. Very selfless. Selfless. Very generous of you. 
Oh my goodness. Is your dad okay in there? I asked him. He said he was fine. He said he was just moking to death. Was He's moking. He's moking. <laughs> Tell him if he needs the Heimlich to stomp three times on the floor. You can also tell him we've got a few nurses on, on live right now, too, if we need any medical advice. <laughs> the dyed wax paper. Oh, yeah, that's what Lisa does. Mm -hmm. You'll have to ask her about that. Are you, Lisa, you'll have to tell her about that. Okay. There we go. Ice and grungy. Did I get it all? I think so. Oop, not there. Didn't get it there. Yes, your wax paper for Stephanie. Yes. Hard to describe. Yep, go for it. Okay. Um, yeah, 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 we'll go for it. Um, gotta think about where it's at. Oh, you're going to have it in your shop tonight? Um, it is in, there's one of those plastic paper cases on my shelves in there, uh -huh. and it's in there. There's different colors. On the shelves of your printer's shelf? Mm-hmm, where my printer's at, where those plastic cases are at for my printer. Okay. Oh, and bring those things that came out of the printer. Okay. Hey, you see my new scissors, Lisa? I have black ones this time. <laughs> I uh, texted Lisa a picture the other day of my... I have red-handled ones of these, or had, I should say. Um, Jackie's book is was on the list. Yeah, it was um, a couple weeks ago, I think it was. Um, yeah, anyway, so I texted Lisa the other day a picture of my... Uh, Tim Holtz scissors and like one whole side was was done or was done was chewed off I was reading Lisa's thing that said my kitchen's done um the new puppy Carly chewed up my Tim Holtz scissors and yeah it's been a while back though thankfully the stores were still open and I could get my husband to pick up a few more pairs so I know, I love his stuff, but I the scissors even more. Because these suckers are so sharp. I mean, look, you can just go right through cardstock like that and not even do that. I would like to reaffirm, you don't need any more paper. Uh-oh, Dakota saw my hidden paper stash, I think. Okay, oh, here's some of Lisa's paper right here. This is the, I don't know what color it is, Lisa. You'll have to tell them what color this one is. Ugh. See, isn't that neat? It's got a lot of different um, highlights, different effects, kind of, and then it has a neat texture to it. So it kind of sounds or feels like tissue paper a little bit, but it's not tissue paper. So I like to use it for a splash of color. I know it is stunning. I mean, and this camera doesn't do it justice. The colors are just, they are super, super rich. And I know Lisa's got a bunch of new colors coming out, so... Wine burgundy. Okay. No, it was something like that, but I couldn't remember what it was. Of course, I'm partial to the blues because blue is my favorite color, but. Pricey. Yeah, Tim Holtz stuff is pricey here, even. The cover sheet, Sharon. These are my porch prints also, but these are her. Well, let me think. This one is her grandma's attic. And then this one was um, the layered journal cover kit. So I'm mixing those two kits. But they're both from My Porch Prints. Her name's Stephanie. She's got some really cute things over there on in her Etsy shop. Here. Let me show you. All right. My Porch Prints. See? Assortment packs tonight. Yes, I think that's a great way to do it, Lisa. 
I'll have to remember to jump on there. How many packs are you putting in there? Do you know? You're going to need a lot. <laughs> Did you finish your puzzle? All done? And no pieces are missing. And no pieces. Finally. <laughs> it seems like every time we put together a puzzle, it, where there's one piece missing. Your dog eats them. What am I making? Um, Rhonda asked what we're making. So I am making, I call them Jackie journals now. Uh, because, ooh, 10 packs in Lisa's shop tonight. All right. People better be quick. Um... I call them Jackie journals because I learned how to make them from Jackie's channel, which is called Crafty Pantaloons. Um, but they're ju it's just like a junky, a, you know, just a really junky looking, grungy, tattered effect. And then I really like how the pink from the My Porch prints, um, how that effect goes with the, the tattered look. So, and then right now I'm just cutting out some things gonna layer them because I like that layered look so Lisa is gonna have 10 packs in about two hours well I bet you those will go almost instantly Is that? Oh, that's trash. Then I've got this, and I don't want to get too carried away. What did I have on the last one? I don't remember. I think that was it, other than a little small thing in the corner. So let's get some, um, what do you call this stuff? Cheesecloth. Or gauze. Sometimes you call it gauze, I guess. We call it cheesecake here. Cheese cheesecake? Cake. Yeah, okay. I've got cheesecake on the brand. brain. Cheese cloth. We have cheese cloth. No cheesecake. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Crud. Now I want cheesecake. <laughs> I want a cheesecake. <laughs> oh, shoot. Oh, uh, dang. You know, I'm going to be craving cheesecake for two days now after that. <laughs> and I can't go to the store to get any. You just went to the store. Why didn't you buy cream cheese or something? Because I wasn't thinking about making cheesecake at the store. I was thinking about survival food, you that know. Survival <laughs> food. Uh, and cheeseburger. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I think we're having turkey burgers tonight. I have a couple boxes of these pre-done. Well, they're not done. They're like pre-made up, but they're not cooked um, turkey burgers. So I think that's what we're going to do tonight. I haven't asked everybody for their opinion. That's just, that's just what we're having. <sighs> the boy keeps bringing me Starbucks coffee cake home. Ah. Uh, jeez. You have to be rolled out soon. <laughs> That's all right. You know, when this is all done, we're all going to say that we've had our um, quarantine bodies or something. You know, we'll all have gained 15 pounds. We'll have to work it off. Like you, like when you gain weight in the winter. Oh, shoot. My sense of humor. Uh, and I'm behaving. I'll be honest. I'm behaving right now just because there's... Almost a hundred of you on there listening to me, so I can't get too rowdy. The rumors be going around around the, the crafting community. <laughs> and they said earlier, Dakota, that they can't hear you when you talk. Hmm? Good thing. Good thing. That's not a good thing. They want to hear you talk too. Have I dyed my cheesecloth? Um, I haven't. This this one is, um, I don't know if you can see it on here because my lighting's not real great in this room, but this one's kind of an off-white. Yeah, winter weight, quarantine weight, exactly. But this one didn't really need dyed. It was already kind of a creamy collar, but when I do have the white cheesecloth, I um, dye it, yeah, sometimes with some of the Tim Holtz inks. 
I need it ironed. Get rowdy. <laughs> Shoot, yeah, you you don't know what you're saying, Stephanie. <laughs> Once you open it up, you can't put it back. <laughs> Once it's turned on, you can't turn it off, right, Dakota? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Once I get to giggling, I can't quit either. Be giggling for the rest of the night. Now. I know. Is that how I had that on there? Oh, crud. No, I had it on there like that. That's all right. I know what I'm doing. I am experienced. I am professional. Totes profesh. Totes profesh. No, I don't. I don't speak millennial. Sorry. <laughs> That's a movie quote. Huh? A movie quote. It's a movie quote. Oh, I didn't know that. What movie? Lego Ninjago movie. Lego Ninjago. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where to find the paper I use? Yeah, My Porch Prince, Grandma's Attic. It's on Etsy. So My Porch Prince is the store name on Etsy. So you can find it on there. And this glue, this is my Fabrifix. I like using that even with paper because it doesn't wrinkle my paper up the way some of the water-based glues are. But if you have any type of breathing issues or you have a really small craft room, I um, wouldn't use it because it's it smells like acetone because it has acetone in it, so it's stinky. Um, but I, I, I like it because I don't have to worry about my paper. Oh, yep, Fabrifix. This one's Fabrifix, not Fabri-Tac, but I use both interchangeably. It's whatever I have in the store. I don't know if it's the same thing or not the same thing. I've heard it's actually different between them, but... Yeah. Okay. Now it needs something else. Um, or maybe I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait and see what, what else I come up with on the inside. See what's left over. And then I'm going to use this now. Something pink. That's why I was thinking maybe this pink um, butterfly. And I have some um, burlap. I thought about maybe using some of this burlap on there. Like maybe do that. And then do one of the um, pink butterflies over here. Or may and then maybe like a metal thing. Fabri-Tac has acetone. You know, yeah, but it, I, um, I get my nails done too. And... It doesn't ever seem to bother mine, so I don't know what some people's nail polish must be just more um, susceptible to the Fabri-Tac, but it does okay on mine. Okay, so normally I just use upholstery thread when I'm sewing um, signatures in because it's so readily available, but I'm actually almost out of my upholstery thread and since I can't go out to get any more I had this craft lace it's a waxed it's a waxed thread but it's really thick um, I don't know what you'd call it it's a super thick thread I don't know it's what I'm gonna use today so I don't have to use my upholstery thread up okay move this stuff burlap on the spine. I'm actually getting ready to put some canvas on there on the spine. So when I did the printing on material, um, these were some of my um, samples or some of my trial and error things. So I figured I could just use the back side. So that's what I'm going to reinforce my spine with is this canvas. But yeah, you could use the burlap on the spine. That would work great. And if you wanted to make sure it was like super sturdy, you could even put like a little bit of Tyvek or something back there or duct tape or whatever you had. But I think just some canvas will work, except for it won't rip, so I'll cut it. And then I kind of like that frayed out look. Acetone polish remover will, hey Lorna, then now the fabric tackling gets, yep, sure does. 
it's I don't think it's a waxed linen. Um, what did I do with the package just now? It doesn't say what it is. It just says waxed thread, but it's for when you're doing um, leather work. But it's it's really thick, like thicker than traditional thread. So I don't know. It'll work. What you want it? Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, normally I just use upholstery thread and then I run it through some beeswax and that works great and it's cheap and I can get upholstery thread at any Walmart or craft store so it's pretty re readily available. You don't know? I know it doesn't say. So it just says it's for leather working. I'm not even sure where it came from, to be honest. Oh, that's nice and crooked. Let me try to straighten that up a little bit. Oh, maybe it was just my frayed out stuff. That'll look better. Um, I used um, my inkjet printer to do the printing on fabric. Yeah, Lee, it's like an artificial sinew stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, for making dream catchers. Yep. It's, yeah, it's just like that. My aunt used to make those. But, yeah, I use my inkjet printer when I'm, when I do the printing on fabric. Um, and, and it works great. But um, somebody had mentioned it ruining your printer. And, I don't know, so now I'm kind of nervous. I mean, I haven't had any problems since I did it. Um, so I don't, I don't think it did. I guess it would be how, how much you do it. If you did it a lot. Do I coffee dye my cheese, cheesecloth? No, this cheesecloth was um, was already a um, creamy collar anyway. I think it said it was an unbleached cheesecloth. So it's not bright white. So I don't really have to dye it. But um, when I do want it to look kind of grungy, I just take my Distress Ink and my Dabber. And I just kind of rub it like that. And you get a really good distressed look to it. And then I don't even have to worry about getting it wet and drying it. So that works just fine doing it that way. Is that the Rose Garden ephemera pack? No, it is um, Stephanie from My Porch Prints. It is her grandma's attic kit. And then this page was her layered journal cover kit. That's what those are. Judy's on. Hey, Judy. You're watching my envelope journal project. And friend was doing a FaceTime together. Oh, that's cool. That way you guys can craft together. I think me and Lisa and um, the other Judy, <laughs> I think we're going to do that soon, too. That way we can be together and, and craft together and do our social distancing crafting. Lorna says, I am managing. Oh. Are you not doing well, Lorna? Oh, you're welcome, Judy. There we go. Okay, I'm going to glue this one on, and then we can sew them in. Another quick way to dye small pieces is to dab ink pad on glass spritz with water. Yep, 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 that's a good idea, too. Sure is. I was meant to be at my sister's for a crafting get together, but had it. Oh, what a bummer. Can you guys do the FaceTime thing or the Facebook um, video call? That way you guys could craft together and you can see each other. Yeah, there you go. Craft on Facebook Messenger. Yep, just like that. I know the technical stuff. Sometimes it's a burden, but times like now, it's been really nice to be able to keep up with our loved ones and our friends. Maybe we don't feel so far apart from them. There we go. Good morning, Jody. Let's see, what time is it there? Probably about 7 a.m. there in Australia. Something like that. Okay, so like I said earlier, if you missed it, you pro um, some of you that came in late, I just tore all these pages, and how many did I say there was? 16, I think. 16 different random pages, and... Um, I just 
um, tore them so they would look all rough and then made the cover out of a file folder a little bit bigger than the pages and now I'm just going to sew them in. Normally you would want to do all their, your inking before you would sew them in because it's just much easier to do that but um, I don't want to ink on camera that's boring. I'll ink tonight when I'm watching TV and have nothing else to do. So Jody says it's 8.15 there. Okay. Bernice said my internet was down. Now I'm late. Oh, I was worried my internet was going to be down. I wouldn't be able to come on at all. Oh. Let's see. Our internet has been kind of slow, but we have, um, I don't know, what would you call it? It's sort of like a satellite internet, but it's not really satellite internet. It bounces off of a like a cell tower near us, but all the neighbors all have the same internet as us. And if there's lots and lots of people on it near us, then ours slows down. So, you know, normally I would want to do like a template here, but actually, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to stick it in place where I want it. Yeah, and then I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and poke them. Everyone's online these days. Yep. Yep, sure are. Maybe that'll be your next face. Yes, it's fun, Judy, and it's easy. I mean, I've only been on 46 minutes, and really other than, I mean, i got to sew this in, which won't take but a minute, and then do a little bit of embellishing and, and ink the pages, and we're done. So, you know, you have a whole project in what, an hour and a half? And you, you can um, make these as big or as little as you want to. I forgot my punch or my um, poker thingy. I forgot my poker thingy in the other room. That's why I'm struggling here. Your all? My all, yeah. Oh, there we go. I have an upholstery pin, so. You have the same type of internet, Debbie? Yeah. And I know it's just because everybody's bored and they're sitting at home, so. Uh, yeah, Bernice, you should be able to watch this later. Um, as long as my daughter helps me figure it out like she did yesterday. Because <laughs> poker thingy, exactly. My poker thingy is in the other room, Judy. Uh, urgh, come on, this thread is so much thicker than I normally use. Goodness. Urgh. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't want to come through there in two layers. Goodness sakes. Lisa said, okay, I just got my dyed wax paper listed in my shop. Well, crap, Lisa. You didn't wait for me to get done. It's all going to be sold out by the time I am get done here. The struggle is real sometimes. I know. I think I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take this stuff and take it apart. It's just too darn thick. I really didn't want to have to use my thread. I'm kind of rationing it. I don't know when I'm gonna be able to get more. Now I'm laughing like Miss Jackie. Oh, you you have no idea. Once I get going, kitchen gloves. Oh, you're so smart. Jody says use kitchen gloves to help pull it through. That's like the smartest tip I've gotten in a long time. Here, Dakota, pull this so we can separate it. Got it? Because I just want a little bit of it. You don't like sewing in signatures, Lorna? I don't mind it when I have the right stuff, but right now I'm making do with this. So, there we go. Okay. Now I won't have problems. There we go. I even threaded it without my glasses on. Okay. Get my pages all lined back up again. Lisa got an order. Let's see. Okay, bye, Diana. Thanks for jumping in. Glad to have you on. Stay safe out there. Um... Red. What was I going to say? Lost my train of thought. Is it train of thought or chain of thought? Both. 
But sometimes it seems like I say I lost my chain of thought and then. Oh, okay. Gotcha. You're staying, Diana. Okay. You're just going to catch up later. That's fine. I'll have Dakota help me make sure all the live chat's on. And See, now my hole is all boogered up from trying to pull that thread through. That was too thick to begin with. Train of thought. Yeah, and she says train of thought. Okay. I remember one time when Colton was little. What was it he said? Uh, we were in the, uh, doing a science lesson. And... I'm sorry. Right train, wrong track. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Um, he he answered my question. He was close right to it. Boundary. Yeah, he was close to it, and he said, um, he said the answer, but it, it was it was close. And I said, uh, "You're on the right track, buddy. Good job." And he goes, "Oh, but on the wrong train." <laughs> I said, "Yeah, you're on the right track." Or on the wrong track, but on the right train or something like that. I don't remember, but it was just too cute. He was like five, maybe. So, yeah, you're on the right track, but I'm on the wrong train. Yeah. <laughs> Use scissors to push your needle. Yeah. Oh, managed to poke her thumb. Ay, ay, ay. I know. Well, I normally do sometimes use my pliers to pull through, but I don't have that in here. I'm not in my craft room. Um, I'm in a different room than I'm normally in, so I don't have all my stuff out here. My craft room is what was that used to be our dining room, and it's kind of in the center of the house, so it's noisy in there with all of us home. My pages got all discombobulated, discombobulated. Discombobulated, <laughs> combobulated. <laughs> I got all messed up. Goodness sakes, talk about struggling. There we go. Okay, so there's my hole. I had to do all that just to find my hole again. There we go. All right, almost done. Yay. Okay. Now it's probably all crooked, but oh well. I'm not redoing it. Ah, details C. I'll find me English teacher. <laughs> My details about every five minutes. I must have missed something. That's all right. You girls just chat away with each other. While I struggle. <laughs> okay. Inspired to craft. What's your name? Because I forgot. Because I'm terrible with names. Oh, Lisa says she's got me covered. I know what you mean. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yay. Judy says, what's the name of the shop you're all ordering from? Oh, it's Lisa's Wax Paper. Lisa, you need to tell her. Did uh, Judy, did you see it? The, this is the wax paper that Lisa does. This is just one of the colors. That's what they're all talking about. So Lisa will put her shop name out there. Okay, cool. Look at that. Did I put it in upside down? Nope. Everything's right side up. Yay. <laughs> Figured after all that struggle, I would find out that it was upside down because that's just how it seems to happen, isn't it? Okay, now I have all of these nifty things to add inside. I think I want to do, um, I think I just want to do a little cover page here and then do a pocket here or there, but I don't want to get it too loaded up. You know what I mean? Um, and then I have some pink sari silk, and I was thinking that I would um, put an eyelet right here and an eyelet back here. 
the last one I did, I glued it underneath there, and that worked okay too, but I was thinking this time I'd try and eyelet it. That way it'd be kind of decorative. So I think I want a pocket on the inside though, one or two pockets, and that'll be about it. Um, let's do a pocket. Let's do a pocket on this one. Out on time. Ooh, 55 minutes. Are you guys ready for me to stop talking or keep going? Because it doesn't matter to me. You tell me. Hmm? No, I don't. Diana said no. Okay. If I get five of you that say keep going, then I'll keep going. So. Bernice said keep going. Renee said keep going. <laughs> Lorna and Joe both said keep going. Okay. All right. We'll keep going a little while longer. So that's going to be my pocket. Whoops. Okay. I'm keeping going. Slave drivers, all of you. Jeez. <laughs> My daughter used to flip around because to Cusby. To Cusby. What is sorry silk, Laura said. Um, sorry silk is actually spelled S-A-R-I. And it is made from Indian sari garment. Those are like the traditional garments of Indian women or... I think just women. I'm not sure. Renee's cracking the whip. That's right. Um, but yeah, it's made from those garments. So that when they're done with them, they can um, tear them and create these beautiful silky ribbons by um, sewing the strips together. So sometimes they're patterned and sometimes they're dyed and they come in beautiful, beautiful collars. So um, here, let me type in... I'm using Dakota's um, YouTube, so it's going to say DAC M, but that's me. And here's where I get my um, sorry silk from. Hang on, let me spell it right. Victorian Gypsy Girl, all one word. There we go. There you go. It says DAC M, and that's that's me just now. That's where I get the sari ribbons from. She has beautiful collars and it's really great quality and it's all ethically sourced, which means that the people um, that she buys it from are getting a fair pay for it. You saved me some blue. Okay, good, thank you, Lisa, appreciate it. She knows what I like. Um, I think I put, I want to put this one in there. Put a little journaling card in there. Oh, hey, Dakota, will you go get my little mini Tim Holtz stapler? It's that little black handheld stapler. It's in my drawer, the left hand drawer in there. Thank you. <laughs> okay, there. Lisa put her shop name down there. Body, Mind, Spirit Store. That's where the dyed wax paper is coming from. So, Trying to restock my kitchen reno's done. Exactly. Um, Lorna, the paper I used is that Epson brand premium presentation paper and it's in the matte finish so I have a video on my channel that says what my printer is and what my favorite paper is and um, so I show it on there so you can you can be able to see what the actual paper is um, and then every now and then I will kind of give everybody a heads up um, when it's on sale so what's Carrie saying Carrie said I'm going to have to disappear oh 
You were up early. Okay. Yep, I'll try to have it uploaded as long as my internet is um, cooperative this evening. So take care, Carrie. Be, be safe out there. Oh, be well. Hopefully my phone won't cut out today. It uh, cut out yesterday. So if it does, just know I'll try to pop in tomorrow or the next day. We'll try to just get together every day at 4.30 and until this is done. Or, But I'll, I'll let you know if I can't, can't pop on at 4.30. Oh, there we go. Keep going, silly. You're funny, Lisa. I'm going, I'm going. Okay, bye, Carrie. There. Okay, and then some ribbon stuff. And, ooh, I have this, too. I could put that on the cover. Yeah, I like that. I'll use that for the cover. Lorna said, I missed the name of the kit you're using. It is um, My Porch Prints, and it is the... Um, Grandma's Attic, and the layered journal cover. You're going to start a new puzzle without me, Dakota? We're just opening it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I have room to work. You could put the other one away. Yeah. First live thingy I watch. It's 10.30 p.m. here, and watching someone on the other side of the world. I know, isn't that cool? It's very crazy. Yesterday we had somebody on here from, we had Brazil and um, Switzerland, England, Canada, the United States, um, trying to think what else, who else was on here, Australia, um, so it's pretty cool, just, it's like a worldwide craft um, group retreat. Thank you, Dawn, but I need to go too. Okay, that's fine, Jody. thanks for stopping in. Be careful, be safe. Be well. Okay. Ontario, Canada, and the Netherlands. Okay, cool. Lorna says, come do a puzzle with my daughter. She just asked me to do one, and I said, no. Why not, Lorna? You don't like puzzles? I like puzzles, but I have this thing where I have to finish something that I start, so I end up staying up, like, way, way, way too late um, because I'm like, oh, I've got to get it done. I've started it, so now I have to finish it. But last night we finally, it was we were getting too tired. And then I went to bed, and we turned the TV on in the bedroom, and I ended up staying up for another hour and a half while <laughs> watching this show. So it was funny. It really was. It really, really was. Um... Need to get out of bed. Okay, that's fine. Glad you stopped by. But yeah, probably time to start your day, isn't it? Let's see, I'm trying to find something for another pocket. And I think I'll just use that other postcard for my pocket. How about a heads up text before I go live? What? Are you talking to me? Yes, I will text you next time. But if I go live tomorrow, it'll be 4.30 again. That time just seems to to work well. But yes, I should have texted you. I put it out on Instagram. Did you see it on Instagram? Okay. Oh, it's too big. I used that, or I wanted that for my pocket, and it's too big. That's all right. We'll just paper clip it in there. Maybe we'll give it a little bit of embellishing, and then we'll use it as a as a journaling card, paper clipped in. This is just the cutest little journaling kit. 4.30 what time zone? That would be Eastern time, Eastern United States time. And that would be, yeah, I think 3.30 Texas time. Nope, 4.30 Eastern time, Judy. Let 
We are on Eastern time here in Indiana, or in this county anyway. Indiana is really weird. Some of the southern counties and northern counties um, are on a different time zone. Yep, Eastern time, Judy. Um, let's see. Yep, three three thirty Central. It is right now, it is 5.36 p.m. here in Indiana. Good question, Lorna. What is everyone working on? What's that? Stephanie says... I'm sorry, I'm trying to read and cut at the same time. And these sharp little scissors, I'm liable to cut my finger if I'm not watching what I'm doing. No, don't. Can't go to the hospital. <laughs> Could have said, can't go to the hospital. No, not going to any hospitals. That's why I told everybody, be really careful at home because we are not making the trip to a hospital right now. I will stitch you up here at home if I have to. Uh, yeah, but none of us can tolerate blood. I know. Stephanie said, I made a cloth cover journal. Do you recommend I use a hidden spine or just sew in the signatures, I guess, which is easier. Um, when I do cloth covers, I like just sewing straight into the cover and then just using something pretty and decorative on the backside. But that's my personal preference. Um, I know some people do the hidden spines on the cloth cover journals, and those look great, too. Um, I just, I guess I worry when I'm doing fabric cover journals that if I that if I do a hidden spine and I and I glue it in, then it's I don't know like that I'm afraid it's not going to hold right. But I think I think it would hold just fine. And you could even sew it in. You could sew your journal block into your cover um, if you wanted to do it that way. But I just sew mine straight in. I do. I only do the hidden. Um, Spines when I'm doing a hardcover journal. Uh, working on a bird theme book using soft book cover and bird pages. Oh, that's cool. Linda is working on swap. Ooh, Lorna's been working on some cool digitals for us. I see. Ooh, a Paris theme journal. That's cool. Sew it in with sewing machine. Um. Yeah, I reckon. I, I think you could do that if you left enough room to do that, or you could hand stitch it in. I don't know. Honestly, um, Stephanie, I think I would just sew it straight into your cover. Unless you're just, that's just not what you're wanting. It doesn't look terrible. I don't think so either. It, it looks great, because then you can just cover it up um, with some fancy, you know, like you could put some kind of fancy wide trim, glue it down the spine, hide your stitches if you were worried about your stitches. But some people just let the stitches show and I think that looks really cool. And then I have seen people put beads on it, you know, when, um, you know, like that thread, I don't know if you can see it in the camera right now. I have seen people bead that with beads and that looks really cool too. So that's an idea. I'm downloading new digis I just purchased. What did you buy, Linda? What digis did you just buy? Not that I need to buy any more digis. <laughs> huh? I, you, yeah, I just bought digis. I bought that big old 400 pack. Diana says, I just finished a boho journal. Butterfly was perfect touch. I know, isn't that cute? I like that. And then I'll just paper clip that in there. So, or I'll put it somewhere else because I really was wanting to put a pocket right there. So, uh, this time I'll check to make sure something fits before I do it. Actually, instead of a, like a pocket, I could do a tuck spot. Like a folder. Um, trying to see here which one I want. Nope, 
I think I'm going grungy. Nope, I'm going this one. Okay. These are like paper. You never have too many. I know. And they don't spoil. See, they're they're non-perishable, so we can stock up on them right now. Let's see. That's what I love about digitals, though, is, you know, when you buy a paper pad and you use, like, the papers out of it that you really, really like, then you're sad because you don't have those papers anymore. Or you don't want to use them because, um, you know, if I use them, then I won't have them anymore. But digitals are nice because you can just print off more of them. So I'm never afraid to use up what I have when I'm using digitals. That's what I like about those. Five different ones from my porch prints. Uh-huh. There you go, Linda. Okay. I am an enabler. That's right. <laughs> I'm... No, I'm not an enabler. I'm, a... I'm just encouraging you all to boost the economy by buying your digitals if you can't get out of the house anyway. Um, this is an enabler. Cindy, she's uh, probably wanting to know if we want these or something. You hesitated to use Digi's, but now I don't know how I crafted without them. I know. I was the same way. Well, I was um, before I got my printer. But I'll tell you, now that I have that Epson EcoTank printer, I am not hesitant at all about using Digi's, Digi's because I just print whatever I want whenever I want, and I don't have to worry about the ink. So... I, that opened up a whole new door for me on that. So I've got a little tuck spot here. I think I'll put a little bit of that. This is some little trim that Jean sent me the other day from, um, oh, I want to keep calling her shop so it themes, but it's um, Inky, Owl. Inky Owl. Yeah, she's from Inky Owl Studio. She changed her name and she sent me some lovely goodies. So this is some of the trim she sent me. Once you have one of those eco tank printers, you'll never go back. I love my. I hated it at first. I really did. Um, Gosh, it was that was one of your shoppers regret buy. Uh, yeah, it was. I thought it was shoppers regret buy, but I don't want that to stick. Um, but after I figured out all the settings and stuff on my. Um, printer and then I got the paper that I um, use now 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 I love it so Stephanie's doesn't like thick cardstock I haven't seem to have a trouble getting mine to print on cardstock um, but I just don't get the quality on the cardstock that I normally get when I um, when I print on the presentation usually get a lot better quality with that. I will for sure check it out. You don't have an uh, eco tank printer, Lorna? I was thinking you did. I know some people use the HP um, ink. Um, oh, they're on that ink program where they automatically send you ink when you're running low. And I've heard really good things about that. So I knew I was doing one or the other. Um, let's see. I want this. Or this is my snippet box. Here, let me let me back you up so you can see this sucker. It's a shoebox size and it's filled with nothing besides offcuts of material and ribbons and and I keep and I keep gathering things, thinking that one of these days I'm going to make a snippet roll, but that just doesn't seem to happen. But it makes for fun, quick embellishments to have on hand. Uh, let's see. I will go on my Santa's list. There you go. Sorry, I was catching up with what you guys were saying.
Oh, my tummy's growling. Um, nope, you can cook them from frozen, so. Christmas in April. There you go. That's what I was getting ready to say. <laughs> Quarantine Santa should come. Quarantine Santa should come. That's right. Instead of donning his uh, red hat, he, he'll he have on a... Tyvek suit. <laughs> Tyvek suit. Face mask. Face mask. <laughs> Veggie and fruit garden journal. Ooh. That's what Lisa's making. You have the Epson ink giant printer, but the eco printer's on the way. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You'll love it once you have it. Um. I mom make a garden journal. She can't do it. Huh? I keep wanting you to make a garden journal. You'll do it. I know. It's out of my comfort zone, I guess, and I'm not very good at going out of my comfort zone. Isn't that cute? I was thinking I could. See what it, it's a little lace heart thing. Did you make that? No. Oh. Uh, Hobby Lobby has them in their, uh, I think they're in their wedding section. You should have totally said yes, of course I made that. Oh, sorry, yes, 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 I totally made that. Yeah. You look crafty and clever. <laughs> so did you ask everybody what they thought about your next live idea? What was my next live idea? Oh, no, I didn't ask him because I'm afraid they'll say yes. <laughs> what? You want to go for a walk? Oh, the dog wants to go for a walk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hubby's talking at me through the door. I thought he was saying, I want to go for a walk. <laughs> I'm like, what? Okay. <laughs> it's like, go for a walk. Then. I'm like, well, then go for a walk. <laughs> What? You got to do it. <laughs> Shoot. Oh. Crack me up. You took my computer. I'm looking at comments. Snow is hopefully not. Oh, Lorna, you still have snow? You do not have snow, thankfully, on the ground. I'm digging to see what I want. I don't know what I want on there. What? What e what Epson Eco Tank is the best to use? Um. Oh, I don't know. That's a tough question, and I am not a tech person, so I'm not the best one to ask that. So maybe somebody can give you a an opinion on there. Is Hubby Leach trained? <laughs> I won't tell him. <laughs> I will. Oh, you're funny, Cheryl. Uh, some days, some days he is. Some days he's totally off the leash. So. <laughs> some days you both. Uh, <clears throat> I don't know which is the best e e uh, Epson tank. Mine's the cheapo one. I, they don't even have it around anymore. Mine's the 2650. I think they replaced it with a 2700 something. Um, and mine does just great, so... Just out of interest, how many projects do you have on go? I don't. I, um, one, I have a set of journals that I'm trying to finish up this week. And then I have this project, so that's it. Sometimes I have way more than that, though. Uh, Lorna's is in the 3,000-something. You bought this, and then Stephanie bought the second bus because it had double sight. Oh, I didn't know that. The second Best one has double-sided printing. That comes in handy. I don't know if I'm... I'm too cheap probably to go for that because I always think, ah, it's all right. I can just um, go in there and switch my paper around backwards and print it again. So <laughs> kind of kind of cheap. I don't want to spend too much on that stuff. I think I'll add something to this later. Um, some kind of lace or something. Yeah, that'll. I'm gonna stick that in there so I don't forget to put that in there. The 2750. Yeah, I think that's what they replaced mine with. Mine was the 2650, and now I think it's the 2750. Um, now I wanted a picture here on the front page. And huh? The 
cat. The cat's right there. I don't want to put the cat on the front page. Because if the kitty's cute, don't get me wrong. I like the kitty. Uh -huh. I just don't want him on my front page. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I'm going to put this on my front page. The 2760s are on sale right now. Yeah. That's not straight at all, but that's okay. I don't think I want it to be straight. I think I want it to look messy. Ooh, Linda's is the 4550. She's got the professional one. Yeah. I was afraid to go that big first. I, I wanted to see how much I would actually use it before I, um, you know, went that expensive. Now I know I print all the time, so. If you trade in an old printer for a new one, then you can get 20 bucks off. I didn't know that. Is there a Marieville? I went out to look. It says their printers are sold out. Oh. Okay. That's going to go there. And then I think I want some layering to happen on there. I want decisions, decisions. This one. Have you ever use wallpaper samples from outdated books? I don't because I've never found any. I see everybody getting these wallpaper sample books, um, but I've never been able to get my hands on one. So. I'd like to do that. I'd like to try it, but. Hey, Susanna, how are you? Glad you could jump on. Uh, 8.50 a.m. there. So what are you up to today, Susanna? What you working on? Actually, yeah, I think I'm going to go like that, and then I'll have a place to put a tag. Yes, putting those new Tim Holtz scissors to work. Yep. After the dog chewed up the last pair. <sighs> That's okay. She's just a puppy. A good puppy. She is a good puppy. She really is. It's the first thing of mine that she's really chewed up that, that mattered. So I don't know what. Susanna's working on your hair. Oh, okay, your heritage journal. That sounds like fun. And you got plenty of time to do it now, huh? Okay, so then I'm going to put this like this. And then I think I want to have it be a little pocket for a tag. Yeah, actually, when I replaced my Tim Holtz scissors, I ordered two pair. And I put the other pair up. Because doesn't it seem like every time you get something that you love, and at least your slippers are okay, yeah. Um, every time you get something that you love, it seems like it gets discontinued and you can't find it anymore. So these are my favorite scissors. So I made sure I bought an extra pair just to put back. But the only problem is, is I have a tendency to stash things away and forget that I have them or I forget where I stashed them. <laughs> Did you stash and them? And that is an excellent question. <laughs> <laughs> where did I stash them? Uh, there we go. That's gonna be a pocket. Oh no, my glue's getting low. I'm going to run out of glue before this whole stay-at-home thing is... So much for stocking up your store. I know. Susanna said it's so weird you can answer. I know, but it's so cool because we're all over the world and we're talking together right now. So Your safe places are so safe you forget where they are. I know, mine too. That's what it is. It's not that I'm getting forgetful. It's my my safe places are so safe that that I forget where they are. That's a good point. Okay. Put 
a little bit of that there. And I'm saving the pink butterfly for the cover, so. <coughs> okay, Cheryl, see you tomorrow, hopefully, as long as the internet keeps holding out. So stay safe. Lisa put something away you need to find desperately. Uh-oh. Oh. Are you keeping the journal or am I going to sell it? I don't know what I'm doing with it, Stephanie. Um, I haven't decided. I just wanted to make another one of these and wanted to hang out with all of you girls. So... I just figured this was a easy little project to do on camera, so I I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Hey, Mags, how are you? Thanks for joining. Hope you're doing okay. Take five hours. No, it wouldn't. There we go. All right, and then I think I want... I have a little bit of this ribbon and I have to try making a journal like this. Love the print. Yeah, it's, um, it's from Jackie from, um, Crafty Pantaloons. She was one of my feature Fridays, um, two weeks ago, I think it was, or getting ready to be three weeks ago. And so she does the whole tutorial on her channel for it. So, um, the only difference is, is she tea dyed, um, or coffee dyed her file folder and the stuff that she put on the front. And I didn't do that because I don't have the patience to um, do all that first. So I uh, I just grungy things up with my ink and and let it go. So, but Jackie's, she really, hers, hers are very, very detailed, very pretty. So you need to check her out. I know I love the rib page look too. I didn't, I didn't know if I would, because I'm not usually that kind of a not that crafter. Grungy. Yeah, I'm not usually quite that grungy in my journal making, but yeah, I really like it. It's kind of addicting. That's why I want to come back on today and make another one, so. There we go. And then I don't have the paper printed yet from here. Hi, Cindy. And then I need to put paper back here. The pages were burnt rather than ripped. No, I I wouldn't. I can't do that. I'd burn the house down. <laughs> they keep me away from things that are on fire. <laughs> I am allowed to burn candles on occasion. Yes. <laughs> nope. If I burnt the edges, I'd oh, we'd be in trouble. That is a pretty cool look, though. Bernice says she's made two torn journals, torn edge journals so far. Yeah, I like them. I think they're cool. Kind of addicted to it. And they've come together so fast. And I like that you don't have to be precise about anything. So I do like, I do like that. I don't know. I may, I may put a few of them in my shop if I got them done, but... You'd have to not run out of glue first. Yeah, I'd have to not run out of glue. I think I kind of want that on there like that for a little layered look. And I already glued those down earlier. I'm going back and redecorating things I've already decorated, but I'm just kind of using up things I've already printed. Yeah, the digitals, Marie, they are um, my porch prints. Stephanie, my porch prints. Um, Grandma's Attic and the layered journal cover what I think this this particular image was from the layered journal cover and then the rest of them from Grandma's Addicts. So, okay. There we go. And then I'll, I'm going to ink the edges later tonight when I'm watching TV. And I think I'll add this little bit of lace here. I think what I'm going to do is print out this page again so I can have a few more of these butterflies because I really like these butterflies. Um, and I think I'll put one here or maybe one of the blue butterflies right there with the lace. So, Picked up the rulers to try this. Oh, yeah, instead of ripping freehand. Yep, you can do that. I saw somebody also take a, um, a plastic ruler and they took pliers 
and they um, try to see how I can do this. They like took the ruler and then they took the pliers and they pinched the ruler and then they broke little pieces off of the ruler and made a tear ruler um, themselves. So I thought that was pretty cool. And they just used like a plastic dollar store um, ruler to do that. Where did I get my laces? Um, well, the ones with the little roses on them right here, I got those from Jean from Inky Owl Studio. She sent them in a happy mail not too long ago. And then the rest of my stuff usually comes from Hobby Lobby because um, I'm usually asking hubby to stop by Hobby Lobby and pick stuff up for me. So that's where most of those come from. I am almost done on here, ladies. I'm going to have to start thinking about getting dinner started. This is a set of rulers. You need a band aid? Yeah, for when I come in the door. That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it's never a good sign when your son opens the door. I'm going to need a band aid when I come in. Uh. Okay, all right, I'll ask him. Okay, so the next live, maybe tomorrow, maybe the next day, I don't know. We were thinking about um, not maybe... Us. No, 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 not we, you. Okay, me, I mentioned it. Okay, but you'd have to help me because you're better at it than I am. But thinking about doing a live where Dakota and I do paper marbling... And I don't, I don't know. We've never done it very many times, the paper marbling. I've never done it live, so I don't know. Um, it could be an epic flop. It could be. It could be an epic flop. I don't know. Is that something that we want to do, want to try, maybe? I don't know. I'm just trying to find ideas of things we can do to hang out together. Judy said stop talking about things to buy. <laughs> Keep going over any buying it. Yeah. Sorry. I could go back to talking about cheesecake, Judy. You want me to keep going back about cheesecake? Because <laughs> I've been thinking about cheesecake ever since then. Would love to see that however it turns out. Yeah. Okay. Well, we, we can do that. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow or not because it does take some prep work. Um, and it is so messy. It's like really messy. So, and the only, and I'd have to do it in the kitchen. So the only way to do that would be to tell hubby and the son that they're just going to have to get out. <laughs> they're going to have to go do something. Like in the garage, because we can't go anywhere. Okay, that's going to go like that. And then I have a little book plate to go up here to the top. See, and I'll put a little label on it. And then I'm going to put some eyelets right here and um put some sorry silk ties on for that so i think that's it oh i you know i was gonna put that burlap on there wasn't i and i don't know am i gonna get it off of there why are you ruining it i'm not ruining it yeah i can get it i can do that we'll do that Post a material list so we can craft with me. For the paper marbling, is that what you're talking about? Or are you talking about the next project that I do live? Thank you, Mags. Woo! Ah, it's stuck. That is all trash, yep. Saying to add whipping cream on top of the cheesecake, then stand up backwards. <laughs> Thanks, Diana. <laughs> yes, that sounds delicious. Okay. There. See, that's better. It needed the burlap. I didn't ruin it, Dakota. The paper marbling. Okay. Well, the way we're going to do it, though, is... Um, I use some stuff called carrageenan. Here, let me let me type that in. Um, I think I need liquid starch, though. Oh, 
There you go. There, I typed it in under Dakota's account. It's called, oh wait, I spelled that wrong. Caragina. Tell your dad to stop hollering in there. There we go. That's how you spell it. Um, that's what we use to, to do our thickened water. And so it's not something that's very readily available. Um, but if you had liquid, liquid starch, that works too. Um, and then you just need um, uh, craft paint, like just regular acrylic paints. Those work. And then um, you can do it if you thin your paints with water, but we thin our paints with this stuff called Oxgall. Here, I'll type that in too. So it's not something that's super readily available, but you can... Um, you can do it at home with acrylic paints. So yeah, acrylic paints and thin them. And then if you've got some liquid starch, um, I've also seen people do um, wallpaper paste. So, I don't, you know, I don't know. I don't know that you'd be able to craft along, but anyway. But I'm probably not going to do it tomorrow. So, oh, you do? Okay, then, then you can use that. So... All right, well, I'm going to go because I've got to get start, supper started too, and i got to go see why the sun needed a Band-Aid. So, <laughs> um, All right, and I will be back on tomorrow at 4.30 again, Eastern Time, hopefully, as long as the Internet holds up. And um, I'll talk to you guys then. So be safe. Take care. Bye, guys.